Hello once again and welcome to a daily run. Uh, what promises to be a short-lived daily run, because this would appear to be uh, Blue a Baby, who we all know is hard. <laughs> Can only take Spirit Hearts. Any HP upgrade, like the Halo that we just got, will manifest as one new Spirit Heart, or well, as many new Spirit Hearts as we would have had uh, Red Hearts. And we have to try and get through to... Fuck me. Do you see that thing? It fucking shot me. I don't think there was anything in this room that could shoot me. And yet, here's me being shot. Is there a red? Probably an orange fire or something stupid like that. Um, just us a mom fight. So, uh, apparently they hurt me as well. Is this entire floor made of things that will kill me? Yes, obviously. What I mean by that is, why are there so many more things on the burning basement to kill me? As compared to, e.g., the not burning basement. The, the... The uninflamed basement, the, the quenched basement. That was a bit uh, risky. Look, we only have to get to Mom, which is doable, but we really have to do it by not taking so much damage. Because it, it, it's basically impossible to re refuel yourself in the damage sense as Blue Baby, uh, unless you happen to find some item that provides spirit hearts, uh, which we don't have. So, until we do have fucking pincer movement bullshit. Have you seen this? This entire floor. This floor has not gone well. The interesting thing about Blue Baby, uh, interesting maybe a, a generous word to use. The thing about Blue Baby is that you start with three spirit hearts, which is the price of a deal with the devil. Uh, but you don't get red HP or anything like that. So, it will always be three spirit hearts. Which means when you get to... Ooh, that's pretty nice. When you get to the deal with the devil, you have to have at least three spirit hearts, if not more. I mean, if you, if you only have three spirit hearts, you can only take something that will give you HP, like the Pact or Ceremonial Robes and that sort of thing. Um, it's... <laughs> the reason that's a problem, uh, if it's not already clear, if you don't take a deal with the devil early, A, it can really scupper your progress. But B, you end up with deals with the angel. Which, ultimately, are probably a bit better for you, because blue baby, deal with the devil, you're always spending 3 HP. And the deal with the angel is usually free. That's true. There's a, there's a tinted drop here, I didn't see. We should go into the shop then, I think. But, angel deals are often so, much, so very much weaker. Do we, do we take the bomb? Ah, let's just take both. <laughs> I'm gonna say, do we take the bomb and hope for more than one spirit heart? Or do we just buy the spirit heart? We got small rock, which is actually a really good damage upgrade. Early on in the game, this is really gonna help, because it means we can clear out those rooms that we're gonna be encountering between now and our deal with the devil, for which we have six spirit hearts. Uh, much faster, and therefore much less likely to take damage whilst doing so. Thus. We should, um, we should keep using this poop, we do have it. It's a luck upgrade. We've sh we <laughs> Let's not focus too much on the mechanics of what just happened, if entirely possible. Uh, because, ultimately, in the simplest and most obvious way, we shat out a poop that had a penny in it, which was lucky. Good. That's also very lucky. But we did spend our only key on getting to the shop to get the spirit heart and the bomb uh, on the previous floor. That means <sighs> it's often the case, all too often the case, that what happens is you spend your uh, your one key in a what, what seems to be a very sensible way, and then the game just doesn't reward you with a replacement key, and then you can't get into the item room. Or indeed the shop. Whew, that was a bit close. We'll take it. It's a speed downgrade, which isn't hugely inspiring, but we'll fight monster over here. We'll try and avoid this some bitch. There we go. This is a monster that doesn't jump too much, I think. Although he seems to be proving me completely wrong in that respect right now. We have a bomb, and the strength card is also going to be something that just produces a spirit heart temporarily for the for the room. I don't think we're going to need it, and I think if the steal with the devil is not good enough. I'm not going to take it, I'm going to hope for an angel room, and hope that that's our scene, because obviously, 
going to the mom fight, we have to do boss rush, but we also have to try and get further. So, uh, tears upgrade is very nice. Oh, it's a shovel. Okay, done. <laughs> so the, the shovel, in case you didn't know, will get us through all the way to Shoal. So we're going to be keeping hold of this. Uh, and I'm also going to be... Oh, I probably should have saved one of those for the curse stream, eh? I'm going to be playing a little bit longer to very much try to get a key as a reward from one of these rooms. That's a bomb, which is close. I mean, the bomb could turn into a key by result of a spirit... Oh, no, the other thing. Tinted rock. Uh, but it is not per se a key. We could actually try and get into the shop. Because it looks like the shop, which is the only room with a locked door on this map, it looks like it's going to be next to a secret room. Well, now I have a dilemma, of course, because I want to blow up this tinted rock here. But we have enough HP. I think we have enough HP, so let's take, let's take the time. We're going a bit slowly as a result of this, but that is not a secret room. Well, tickle me surprise or call me Nancy. That's not a secret room. Well, we can't get to the item room, but we did come away with possibly something better. The shovel. It's outrageously good for us. We'll go in here, we'll get ceremonial robes, which is actually exactly what I was hoping for. But to be fair, every time you go into the uh, curse room, you're hoping for ceremonial robes. We'd like to get our speed back because I still don't learn when it comes to not taking pills on dailies. So now we're slow, we're going to have to make up a lot of time in order to get to boss rush. Why didn't you tell me that was there? I hope that other people can see how similar I see the black and red hearts. It's very. I mean, this kind of makes up for it. That room was worthwhile, technically, although the damage penalty... Uh, it's debatable. And this is just the catacombs, which is brilliant, because... Well, it could have been the flooded fucking cave, so there's a key. At least we get to go to either the item room or the shop today. Now I think about it, I don't think we had enough money to possibly even have bought a key. Had we found the shop in the first place on the previous floor. So basically, I'm not going to be too concerned by the fact that I didn't find a way to the item room on that floor. Uh, it could have been great, but we did get really strong from the floor. The Torn Photo is an amazing tears upgrade. And having got the small rock from the floor before, we should be good to go for quite a long way through this game. You know, we're, as long as we actually can hit the enemies, there we go. There's a second key, which is nice. As long as we can actually hit the enemies, we're doing sufficient damage, but we won't shot these spiders, we just trawl through the rooms, bang, bang, bang. Everyone's happy. Let's open this, because we get to fight the room and get some more points for it. If we can fight the room quickly, we can get the points for it and still make it a boss rush. Please, game, thank you. Look, I took damage. I'm not proud of it. But sometimes, damage is as damage does, right? You just gotta take it on the chin, move on. It's, it's like, everyone's seen Rocky, right? You just gotta, you get back up. You get knocked down, you get up again. Ain't no one gonna keep you down. Full health. Full health. Full health. Thanks for the extremely enthusiastic way of saying it. Unfortunately, it has no benefit. So, your enthusiasm is unguided. I don't want Mom's bra. I don't want any spacebar items. Even Book of Belial. I'm going to keep this shovel and it's going to go all the way. I'm hoping that enough people... Uh, it's impossible not to get a deal with the devil on that floor. If you survive there, you get it. And that's simply a fact of life because it's Blue Baby, right? You cannot fail to get that deal with the devil. But you may fail to take it, so I'm hoping that enough people have failed to take it. Blank rune gives us better can or and then the blank rune which gives us algaes. Uh, somebody's. Uh, I don't really know why I use those so fire uh, so you know I went so hard on using those. Let's put it that way. Because I'm not too concerned about the strength card. It doesn't do too much for us. I'm gonna try and get through this floor a little bit quicker. Let's use it now. I can get rid of Gurdy Jr. a bit faster, that's only ever a good thing. I'm hoping that one of these um, trapdoors... Oh fuck, there's keys there. Why didn't I think about that? Never mind. Never mind, move on, don't sweat it. Why didn't I think about the fact that... I forgot. Never mind. I'm hoping one of these trapdoors turns into a, a, a ladder, a crawl space. 
Eight coins, nine coins. Maybe we can get something decent out of here. Yeah, we can probably... Nope. <coughs> Scoozy. <coughs> oh, heck. I've still got a bit of a, a frog in me throat from my cold the other week. It's been ages, body. How have you not purged yourself sufficiently yet? We'll put this... Oh, we haven't got one. Well, let's find a bomb. We could buy a bomb. I did note that there was a bomb. But... Swag for swag. Uh, I would like to blow up again to the curse the uh, secret room. I think we should. The chariot. I'm going to pay for a key, even though. Oh, Jesus. Even though we can get into the. Fudge. We could probably get into the item room via the secret room, is what I'm trying to say, falteringly. But I don't think it's worthwhile because it would cost us two bombs to do that. We did have a key at the time. It wasn't worthwhile anyway because the item was shit. But uh, ours is not the reason why, I suppose. We, we do what we must. Wow, <laughs> a bit close. I'm going to go back and fight in this boss trap room. It may take us a bit longer than I'd like. <laughs> Look at that. Just just watch the elegance, the graceful skill. Game. We've covered this. Die. I can't, uh, I can't focus. I'm blue and the fires are blue. Focus on the gaps. That's what I'm trying to do. Don't tell me how to play. Take. Oh, jeez. We could use the chariot against this joker. Maybe. Speed up a little bit. Maybe I should have saved Bob's Rotten Head for when there wasn't an enemy on top of it. Yeah, that's right. Jump. See how far that gets you. I don't know if uh, running towards an enemy like this, it feels like it does more damage faster. Obviously, when you step backwards, damage slows down and on average is uh, no faster, but it feels faster to run at an enemy, so I'm going to keep doing it. And uh, please don't judge me for my life decisions. It is what I is. Ah. Thought I could do it again, you see? I got cocky. I got all, I got all riled up from the fact that I did it before. I was excited. I was pleased with myself. Well, I have no right to be pleased with myself. What the hell's wrong with you? Black heart, back. That's fine. We'd have one more black heart had I not attempted that stunt, but then I wouldn't have attempted that stunt and we wouldn't have had anything to say for a couple of floors. More keys. More keys is great. Um, keys can often be a contentious issue, a major problem when trying to daily. Can you can be predictable, please? There's another one. And I don't really intend to go back looking for a cursed room. Like, you can often get out of the curse room for free if you have a spade charge, just by, you know, you, you get into it, you dig out, so you have to finish the whole floor first, which is not necessarily great because curse rooms are often a long way from the finish of the floor. Uh, I thought I dodged that, apparently I hadn't. Look, pay a little bit more attention. That's right. There you go. Try and bait him to a brimstone attack, actually. Uh, this is... Where's my deal with the devil at? Pretty sure I deserve one by now. We've got full HP, which is outrageous. I started this run sandbagging slightly, I admit. Uh, saying, you know, this is going to be a, a difficult run. But it, in my defense, I tend to have terrible trouble with blue baby runs. You know, I'm always getting hit. I'm always trying to figure out where the next spirit heart's going to come from. It's always hand to mouth. Hand to mouth, you pure ale bastards. But this blue baby run has actually turned out really well. Our damage hasn't increased significantly since I was talking about how our damage was really good. But it still seems to be doing well enough. Do you know what I mean? It's helping us get through these rooms. Which is all you really need. You need the damage to not have to do awkward dodges. And the way you have to do not awkward dodge... The way you avoid having to do awkward dodges is to have enough damage to knock out half the things that are going to hit you whilst you're dodging the other half the things, right? So you take out a couple of the, the the weaker enemies, the things that are controlling the space. Yep, that was a good guess. Uh, and then you, you, you're you golden. But if you've got shitty damage, you can't get rid of the enemies that are controlling the space. So you're trying to dodge through a hail of bullets. Ranger is fine. I mean, we might as well take a, might as well take Liberty Cap because we didn't have a trinket. Liberty Cap just does sort of a, a random effect on every room. We've got our shovel back. Let's uh, get down here. So I haven't really got anything but 
next floors out of the shovel, but we have to keep hold of it. To be fair, although we do have to keep hold of the shovel for daily purposes, I haven't found anything that's better than it. I've not been given a viable alternative. Did I do the curse room? Why didn't I do the curse room? I'm going to leave the curse room at the end of the floor. I thought I'd be, you know, I thought I'd be coy about it and try and use the shovel to get out the curse room, but, you know, I should have just gone to the fucking curse room when I had the opportunity. I'm going to do it now. Um, it's going to take a bit longer than I'd like. Depths one at 14 and a quarter minutes. Eh. Uh, it's because we're, we're walking a bit slowly. I think I took a speed downgrade pill. Sort of out of the desire to take pills rather than be sensible. Also, every now and then, Liberty Cat will give us one of the mushroom effects that causes us to be slow, basically. Damn, Dark Bun would be great. Although Dark Bun's always great on the Blue Baby run because it's basically a guaranteed source of HP. Every HP that would normally drop is converted at a 1 to 1.5 one rate to HP you can actually use. And if you're happy with the rate of drop of the actual red HP, then you should be happy with the rate of drop of Dark Bun's HP. It's very much a highly survivable item for a blue baby. I need to get out of here. Help me help. These things... I don't like the way they chase you down. Otherwise, I'm fine with it. Seems to have somewhat a habit of... Uh, I've got the hang of dodging things that are going to explode into four bullets, except for the fucking... Sil oh. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I'll let you live. I'll deal with it. Except for those uh, blue silkworms that shoot at diagonals, I still walk into those every single time. So that's... it is what it is. What have we got here? A range of Okie dokie. We're very slow on that room. Well, I was going the right way to begin with. Hmm. We haven't become much stronger. We haven't had any items that I'm truly excited about. Mom's wig is pretty good, to be fair. It's a, it's a good item, not necessarily a great item, uh, simply because it's producing... Gonna take uh, thing you Mum's wig will produce spiders whilst you fire, but it's so irregular you can't rely on it. Meanwhile, the thing I didn't take there was Diplopia, and that's a very great shame because normally on Diplopia, if you're gonna get to boss rush, you get to boss rush, you hit the space bar, and you get two of every item on boss rush. You get to keep one of each cop copy of each one, and then you get to pick up one of the ones that was originally there in the first place. I, I guess I could have sort of scummed up this floor and just skipped it if I felt like we were going a bit slowly. And now that War is taking his sweet ass time fucking dying, I'm kind of wishing I just not bothered with the entire floor and skipped it to try and get to boss rush, which is very important. Also, we have to be able to actually do boss rush. Uh, I will take both of these. The pact is a huge upgrade for us. It's a tears and damage upgrade, but the more of the void is going to produce so much HP that we can actually take. We just have to find the boss now. In fact, if we can find the boss, and then oh, that's a really good one. Um, find a way to get back into... I haven't got time to do that. Also, I haven't got a bomb, so I guess I'm kind of sort of... What's the word I'm thinking of? You know, I, I'm justified in not doing that boss trap room, even though it's good points and uh, we should always do the boss trap rooms. I haven't got any bombs and it requires a bomb to begin. So I'm hoping to somehow find a teleport card. It's a lot of money. Not worth the time maybe. If we could find a teleport card that will get us out of the um, boss rush after we've beaten it come back to this room and try and do the boss trap, that's going to be very strong and useful for us. I'm also trying to use, um, I should use more of the void more because it's going to be a great room clearing device. Like a vacuum cleaner, I suppose. Yep, 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 yep. Where is our boss? Not here. It's not good. Help, let me out. That's pretty good. Another one of these is not crawl space. Oh, it wasn't ready. We should be using more of the void. We should be... Oh, I don't really want it. We should be using book of... No, we should be using ball of bandages. As much as we can to get damage done quickly to as many things as possible all at once. Like that. 
this is a good room for it because these things are a uh, bugger to deal with otherwise. Yeah, walk into it with your ball of bandages. Then you don't have to try and aim at its front. I think that's the important part though. Don't care about the damage. Here we are at the boss rank. We've got a little bit of time. Also, we want to make sure that we haven't accidentally used our final charge. <laughs> we don't want to wander off and not be able to get out of the... Well, I suppose if we're going to be fighting boss rush. Stop being scared of cats. We've been to everywhere we care about. There we go. I'm going to look in here. It's greed. It's okay. Let's, let's get out of here. I don't even want to spend the time picking up all the coins. We need to get to the mom fight. I think I'm cutting it unfine. I think I'm doing well on time. Aha. The... <laughs> The exploration bonus for that was probably worth the time spent. I don't think we're cutting it fine for beating Mom here, because we do have an orbital. And we have a great rate of fire. It is Blue Mom, actually, so... It's going to be slightly more difficult, simply because the uh, the enemies are a little bit more tanky. A little bit tankier. Careful. But we should be fine, as long as Mom stomps once in a while. You know, let's me actually attack. Fine. Just die. <laughs> Just die now. Let's die. Die, please. Let's die. Wow, what? Come back. Whew. Right. That is the end of the run, except we have the spade. The shovel. What should we take here? We have to be super careful not to accidentally walk down any hole that we make as well. Ah. <laughs> Do we want Ipecac or Cupid's Arrow? Cupid's Arrow is a good... Oh, fuck it. Ipecac. Silly question. Always Epicac. Now we can explode everything. Hooray! Oh, it's a uh, champion mom, so that means all these bosses are champions as well. So I hope you're uh, ready for this shit. But our damage is going to be out of control now because we are exploding everything. Uh, we have permanent Polaroid invincibility simply because of Blue Baby. Nothing else but that. It's impossible for us to have red hearts, so permanent Polaroid invincibility is guaranteed to be active. So now we just sort of hold this, uh, hold this down here. Well, that was um, lucky that I was where I was. This thing can kill you from across the room is a problem. If you're not paying enough attention. Where are you? Son of a bitch. See him trying to get out of here? Trying to cheese it up? Disappearing while I'm attacking him. What an asshole. You're dead. Good. The frail can also kill you from across the room, so it's a good idea to not turn the frail into the killing you across the room version of the frail until you're ready to be lasered from across the room. Yes. Thank you. But we've got plenty of opportunities to leave. <laughs> we've got plenty of HP on the ground. If we can do it right, we can start using minions for... Uh, oh, that was very stupid. If we start using minions to, to produce black hearts, basically. With more of the void. So any enemy that's spawning a lot of minions can definitely help us in that respect. Not willingly, obviously. Nothing would willingly help us, but... Here's an opportunity here. Wow, hello. Uh, that's actually a really strong effect. I wonder if it scales with our damage. Uh, can you just stop exploding yourself in the face? Thank you. I'd like to be the one that explodes you in the face. Here's minions now. Two, three misses. So you can. Kind of want to farm up the uh, the HP somehow, but at the same time, it's a lot of effort. There's more minions. No, no, no black hearts for me. Also, there's a minor problem which I hadn't considered until it was too late, <laughs> which is that in order to actually be able to use more of the void. We have to be firing for three consecutive seconds. But every single shot that we fire, which we're coming out pretty fast, thanks for that, uh, is highly explosive and is going to kill the shit out of us. It's very dangerous to be firing for three seconds. <laughs> so, I suppose it sort of swings and roundabouts. Because we're firing for three seconds, we get the opportunity to uh, 
try and gain some extra HP. Ooh, here's a champion. Fuck me. This particular champion could give us a spirit heart. I'm not sure whether it's guaranteed to. I'm hoping it's guaranteed to, because I can do with one. Each hit, of course, that we take at the moment is only half an HP, so it's not... Wow, that was an amazing time to have more of a Void Firing. Yeah, that's really, really good. Very much a fan of that. Yeah, you can just stay in there, that's cool. <laughs> These enemies have often been the agent of their own destruction recently, so... I can't take too much uh, credit for how well we've been doing. Especially considering a lot of the damage that I've done so far has been accidentally because more of the Void is so incredibly powerful right now. Okay. So hot right now. Very right, fucking Zoolander over here. Look at that shit, that just one shot. That was one tick of damage. What did we win? Yeah, I like Juicy Sack. So now we can go down to the next floor. Whereas anyone who... Oh, there's a Spirit Heart there. Anyone who didn't get the shovel is stuck. So that's us ahead of several people, but now we have to not die from our own explosions. On a big room, like the boss trap room, we have some opportunity to not die from our own explosions, because there's plenty of scope to dance around, and I still manage to get hit a lot by my own explosions, so... What I'm trying to say is that on a, all the small rooms, we don't have much chance of not getting hit by our own explosions. Although we can find... We can take our time now. We can look for secret rooms. We can fully explore all the floors. We can explode tinted drops. There's one. That's one of those cases where there's always a secret room in that position. Just looks right. Range up is probably very helpful. Paralysis. Uh, because it means that the explosions that we fire will happen further away from us. Ooh, perks. Perks made me think of the only real use for perks on dailies. Well, this is possibly the strongest use. It's not the only real use. Uh, which is that you can play the, the self-sacrifice room for half price. Ooh, a guppy item. I think that's our only guppy item, and I can't imagine that <laughs> Ipecac would make guppy that appealing anymore. Because uh, although each fly is going to be stupendously powerful, A, we're going to have a shitload of them anyway. The B, uh, we're not going to be producing too many of them because our rate of fire is very low and actually firing is very dangerous. Wow, you're still alive, eh? What would be great right now would be something that means that we don't take damage from explosions. Uh, something like the host hat, or even better, the other one, pyromaniac. Although now I say even better, the only reason pyromaniac is even better is because oh hello nice swag bonus is because it heals you for red HP we don't have red HP so I think Pyromaniac and Host Hat are equivalent for Blue Baby right now or right now just in general plus 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 yeah there we go none of this don't let these things grow so I saw that there was a mob trap room, so I, I went for it. Oh, golden bombs. That's going to be handy. Now we have an infinite supply of bombs for this room. Floor. Level. World. Ooh, forgot about that. That was very lucky. It's one of those situations where you actually get the opportunity to hold the fire button down for three seconds without causing yourself untold amount of grief. These enemies have all been very slow, which has been merciful. And we've exploded all the things as well. Nice swag bonus. So the swag bonus... Ooh, that's nice. Is applied at the end. Uh, and... Ooh. It... Oh, no, Eight-inch nails is okay. It adds up all the stuff that you've got. So there's a maximum of 15,000. Which is when you have 99 of each thing. The end of the run. That's on top of the points you get for picking them up in the first place, as far as I can tell. So it's good at the end of the run to have a bunch of stuff. As well as the fact it's good to have picked them up in the first place because you you get the collection bonus. Gotcha. Whew. Bit risky. 
I'm not a fan of having to explode fucking <laughs> red poops just to make my way in the world. You, you died from a spider, I believe. That's very beneficial. Certainly helps me out. Right, if we do the boss, I'll we'll charge our spacebar item by one more point. Did we find the super secret room? We did. If we charge our spacebar item by one more point, we can escape the cursed room, and I think that's worth doing on this floor, because now that we're on the womb, all our damage is doubled. Well, not doubled. All our damage is a full HP, irrespective of what source it is. Um, do not like the bloats showing up pointing at me. Because the bloat has a brimstone laser attack that you will fire as long as you're below him, and if it starts in the middle of the room, you have to dodge pretty quickly. So we've got Mr. Dolly, which is three spirit hearts, which is actually really fantastic. And right, here's a Krampus fight, which I was kind of half expecting. Somehow I have to hit Krampus, uh, or maybe I don't. That's sweet. Uh, again, we don't need to take that, but what we can do is now, because the spirit the spirit room. The curse room is half. It's a full spirit heart in. Come on, brain. You're explaining how you just wasted a spirit heart talking rather than looking. It's going to cost me a full spirit heart to get into the curse room and a full spirit heart to get out of the curse room. But if I have this shovel, and as long as it doesn't give me a crawl space, which is a possibility, but one I'm willing to take. Wow, help. Run. Gotcha. Uh, yeah then we're okay. So we can go down to the next floor and we can do this one more time so we can now beat Mom's heart and get to Shoal but we cannot get to everybody. Hush! Hooray! You're talking about Hush again. That's uh, us way down. So I'm going to just keep making holes to see if I can find um, another uh, another uh, crawl space. Because why not? You know, they, they're not hugely valuable to us but at the same time they're not... They're not value-less. They could have a decent item in them. There's not many items I really care for right now. We are firing exploding daggers out of our face. That's pretty fun. But look, <laughs> what are you doing? Where are you? Come back. There we go. Uh, you know, there are some decent items available to us. Anything that's defensive, I think, would be good because of how we are firing exploding daggers after all. Ah, uh, firing at the wall. Continuum, for example. <laughs> or, or just spectral tears, actually. Spectral tears would be extremely useful, and the reason is, it means that the exploding daggers won't actually hit the wall. There's, yeah, we fine. And this uh, more of the void has actually paid out a lot more. <laughs> I was firing because I was in the next room, but I wasn't in the next room. Uh, more of the Void has paid out a lot more than you traditionally expected to. Which is interesting. We did get a, we did get that one luck upgrade from our own ship, but... You know, it's not... I wouldn't call that a... a, a knocking it out of the park sort of massive benefit to us. It's just a small luck upgrade from a penny. Have another charge. It's another way down. There's always, a, yeah, there's always a tinted rock in this room. You just have to explode something and see what happens. I only have coins and keys. These will help with uh, golden chests, which can, that's, can vastly increase your swag bonus simply for being, you know, full of stuff. One key for an opportunity to get a shitload of stuff from a golden chest is definitely worthwhile. Explosive diarrhea doesn't really help us too much. Uh, we'll fight the boss and then go back and explore a bit more. Why not? And we get to do Sheol. I'm anticipating that there's going to be a big rift. What sort of fucking com combination of bullshit is that? Uh, in the players today. Because anybody who couldn't take the shovel... Don't we care for the nail? Yeah, the nail doesn't really help us too much. It's a pretty decent item. It gives you the damage upgrade for the room and then the spirit heart, but we're not really... We're not struggling. And I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to... It's cost us a point. There's going to be the people who couldn't take, you know, the, the very first deal with the devil, which had the shovel in it. But those people could only not take it because they didn't have enough HP to do so. Uh, and those people 
I suspect may not have got very far at all because there was a lot of HP available uh, on this run. We had uh, Mr. Dolly very early on, I think, or PJs or something. So there was a, a big influx of spirit hearts very early on. We've got six spirit hearts on the second floor. <coughs> which was, I think it was the uh, cellar. So there was an opportunity to to actually hit yourself there. But I think getting through that door with enough HP to get the spade is reasonably likely, provided you got there in the first place. And then there wasn't too much of a challenge from then on. Uh, I suppose finding the small rock on the first floor could have been an advantage to us because it made sure that we took less damage leading up to the deals with the devil subsequently. This fucking room. <laughs> but ultimately, there's going to be the people who couldn't take it and the people who could take it. Um, and I suspect, therefore, anyone who could take it will have made it all the way to Sheol. Uh, with a greater or lesser damage penalty than I have. So I'm going to be competing against those people. And I think that that's going to be a cluster of people at the top of the leaderboard. And then a cluster of people lower down who didn't manage that, right? So, even though I think we're doing very well, there's every opportunity that what's in fact going to happen is we're amongst so many people who did this well that we don't rank highly even though we score highly. Does that make sense? There's going to be lots of people basically with the same score as us. And if I keep walking on spikes, for example, I'm going to find myself in a whole different uh, creed of people. Where the fuck is my secret room? Excuse me, can we talk about this? Let me over here. Yo. I was promised a super secret room near the boss. Ah, uh, pay for one. Could be somewhere, right? Fuck it, I'm leaving. Who wants to shoot every fucking wall to find the super secret room? The amount of time it would take us to do it is going to cost us more points than we would ever get for actually being there. I have to imagine that this was worthwhile. Fuck, let me out. Got invincibility. One left. We're okay. <laughs> that wasn't worthwhile, but it was fun. It was interesting because I've never actually seen that room before. <coughs> that may not be quite true. I think I've seen that room before and we've gone nope and turned right around. Bright eyes. We can uh, we can do this sort of shit and apparently find random tinted drops that we didn't expect to make up for the HP that we foolishly lost. I would like more of the void to start paying out. More of the void, of course, is now a very difficult thing to actually make use of. Now, there's one thing left that we can talk about, which is the opportunity of a self-sacrifice room. Did take a little bit of damage there. That wasn't ideal. Uh, although, perhaps... No. Self-sacrifice room can take us to the land fight. Nothing there. I mean, this this can still pay out with a crawl space, by the way, which is why I'm still using it. And this is a live room, which is interesting. Uh, but we have to have enough HP to do... Oops, I think I just kicked my desk very... I know I just kicked my desk. Uh, I think you should know that I just kicked my desk. Um, okay. This could be our ticket to a self-sacrifice room, I'm not sure. Hmm. This plus more of the void can get some HP on the ground. But if we don't take any spirit hearts unless we need them, because currently we're on half, so we'd waste half the spirit heart if we pick one up, then I think we'll be in a good... Wow, that was very lucky. Good position to actually perform the self-sacrifice rituals there. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a boss brain. We've seen this before, and we're not going to trifle with it. It's one of those items that you can definitely get good at if you practice with. But I have no intention of practicing with, so... Oh, I picked it up. It means... Never mind. Can't pick that up. We can pick that up, but I'm not going to pick that up. So now if you find a self-sacrifice room, there's at least one HP on the ground. 
that can help. Plus we have the Book of Revelations. But that's going to be of limited use because as soon as we start overcharging it, as soon as we have a redundant charge on it... Oh shit. Do this, do this, do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Tell you what, the permanent Polaroid invincibility after you get hit is a great time to use more of the void to farm up the HP that you just lost. <coughs> Body. Finished with that shit. I'm done. Temperance. Interesting. Speed down. Why have I got that for? The fool. Temperance fool. Well, we don't need explosive diarrhea. That's for certain. There's plenty of bombs anyway, and we've got bombs coming out of our face. Soon. I'm gonna just not, not bother with it. Oh, there's a secret room there. Thank you. Black heart. Oh. Got a spirit heart back. So I'm gonna leave the ones on the ground that turn up on the ground because we can use uh, the. Book of Revelations to try and replace the spirit hearts that we lose from taking dumb damage. Samson's Chains is probably not worth taking in any respect, so I'm not sure why I did. Uh, but did I did, so nevertheless. Plenty of cash here. Wow. That's going to be a really good schwag bonus for our cash. If we don't find a self sacrifice room, then all my waxing lyrical is going to be in vain. So I'm not going to be able to transport to the dark room. I would very much like to be able to make a mom daily go all the way to the dark room. And I think I have done that before, but not whilst doing every single floor in between. You see what I mean? Oh shit. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Quick, do this. Whew. Oh, there is one. <gasps> Him. Excuse me. Smash down! Do this. Yeah. Shit. We lost HP from that. That's not ideal. Oh, we lost HP there too. Stop getting hit. Dick. Good. Drop HP. I'll pick it up. I hope we got enough. Oh, we might not have in... Especially if that sort of shit's going to go down. Look, we've beaten Satan. Here's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, we get another charge on our... Book of Revelations. Like, right, hopefully not fucking this room up. We're hitting ourselves. Let's just give it time. We're not in a rush. The important thing is not to take damage here. I took damage. Because of this joker here. You fucking dildo. What an asshole. Fucking hit us, didn't he? It's not that he hit us. He walks. I walked into him because of his fucking positioning. We always managed to show up where you're walking and that frustrates the fuck out of me. Right. If we're lucky, there's no perks pill. We will find, oh, let's check for a super secret room because it may contain pills. Oh, it contains pills! Don't know it. Tears down. Bad. Supposed to buy area. Bad. Telepills. Telepills. Bad. What's this? Wow, we're very slow all of a sudden. Oh, it's because of Liberty Cap. Don't worry. We didn't do anything silly. It's Liberty Cap making us slow. There's pills everywhere. There's pills. Come on. Perks. Fool. I can see forever. Paralysis. No! I want a perks pill, you fuck. Okay. We just play this and hope that we keep getting... Spirit Hearts. As a result. Spirit hearts? No. Man, come on. Feel blessed. I don't want to feel blessed. Any more spirit hearts on the ground? Mm, uh, yes, there is one. Black heart, though. So we'll take the black heart when it becomes important that we don't die. See what I mean? If we can't do this... Okay. We will just go. I'm happy we just go. But if we can do this, I will do this. Why have I got three spirit hearts all of a sudden? Does Crown of Light give you HP? No fucking way. I would have been great to have been able to use uh, <laughs> more of the void to do that. Oh, it's fucking cash. I don't want cash. I am not going to use the opportunity for Guppy's tail. Oh, am I? I mean, it could kill the shit out of us. Hello? Fuck! There's a perks pill right here! Oh my god. 
<laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> there was a perks pill in the mushroom that I didn't break. Oh my god. Oh, you shitbag. Well, we take it. Do that. We hope the next hit takes us to shield. Oh, you dick. HP. No. Well. No, it didn't. That's it then. That's very bad luck. We fought everything we can fought. Fuck it, let's go. It's taken us 42 minutes. We took a lot of damage. If that perks pillar showed up, we would absolutely be doing shell, uh, fucking the dark room right now. And I bet all these people above us found it. What bastards. What bastards. Shit. Well, 300th is... Ah, uh, 400th is not bad. You know, I... It's, as I said, a lot of people are going to have about the same score as us. And we were that far away from really knocking out of the park. The seam showed up at the wrong time. Oh, what a, what a shit. Well, never mind. Thank you for watching. Uh, I actually really enjoyed that run. Trying to find that way through. We got so much further than the mom fight. I'm super happy with that. But uh, hopefully we can do just as well tomorrow. So I'll see you then.